My topic is air pollution in New York City as compared to Atlanta. According to BBC, United States is the highest polluting country. The air pollution levels in New York are causing many problems. Some of the problems are premature death for many people. Ozone or smog is the biggest problem. It is caused by sunlight interacting with vapor released from motor vehicles, factories, fuel burning sources, and the electric emissions in the city. When you compare the pollution level in Atlanta and New York, you find that New York has a much higher rate of pollution. The AQI level in New York has been around 78 to 88 from 2011 to 2014, whereas the quality of air in Atlanta is around 43 to 57 AQI. Although these numbers may not seem a lot, but they have caused a lot of problems. This level of air pollution can be life-threatening to people who already have breathing problems. The amount of air pollution caused by motor vehicles and fuel burning is the highest in New York than any other state in the United States. This is because of the tourism in New York. Another reason is the construction happening in the city. New York is known for starting new businesses and giving other people opportunities to work and create something out of themselves. This causes for more buildings and more infrastructure getting built. Something that the government is trying to do is put laws against the lights in Manhattan, try to make them solar powered. One other thing that is already in action is ships that are big and which are cargo ships are not allowed to enter the city in between a specific time. Last but not least, factories will have limits to how much they can pollute in a specific amount of time. If they exceed their limits in the pollution level, the government will charge huge fines against them. Because of the fine, companies are now investing their money in creating solar plants all over their factories. One other thing I think they should do is set a specific amount of fuel efficiency, for example, like the BMW i8. Soon I think America can become a big part of saving the world, along with some other countries.